parents, if you have a child with a smartphone, tablet, or some other type of digital device, you need to pay close attention to today's show. Now, Tammy says she didn't know what social media addiction was until it was too late for her 11-year-old daughter. When my daughter Selena turned 10, I purchased a smartphone for her. She had her own social media account. Within a few months, she started spending hours and hours on that phone. I would tell her that she needs to put it away. She needs to turn it off. She would get very angry, very upset. She would just attack us. Once I was driving and she had gotten angry because her phone died and I would not give her mine, she grabbed the muscle of my upper arm and squeezed it so hard that I had a bruise for weeks. Another time, she punched her sister in the nose and broke it. She was on her phone at least 20 hours a day. This affected her life so negatively. Her schoolwork went down. Her friendships were not the same. Her moods were not the same. She was depressed and in the room just by herself. It seemed like the only thing that mattered to her anymore was posting on social media. Selena just started spiraling out of control. I didn't know how to help her. One day I was at work and I was trying to get a hold of her. When I got home and came in the house, I found her in our living room, laying on a futon and she was gone. I just started screaming. Selena took her own life. I blame Selena's social media addiction for her death. I do. Tammy, I'm, I'm glad you're here. I'm so sorry for the reason. Um, you, of course, had no idea that anything like this could ever happen just by a child having a phone. Correct. What was your first clue that things were getting way out of hand? You could see her um, withdrawing from us. She was always in the middle of everything we were doing and she would withdraw, stay in her room. Um, she'd go sit in the car for like hours on end. Uh, she really didn't want anything to do with us. And what was it about this engagement on the device that was so magnetic to her? What was it she was after? She just always had to be in the know. She had to know everything that was going on. Um, she would post constantly just to get the likes, um, to get followers, to get the comments, whether they were positive or negative. She just needed that constant attention. And she got into a situation where they started to bully her. Correct. And then there were comments on the bullying and she would read the comments. Yes. And these are people she didn't know. Right. Correct. She actually broke her older sister's nose in an argument about the phone. She yes. just punched her, right? Right. She like physically attacked her, pushed her into our Christmas tree, and then punched her in the nose. Over the phone? Over the phone. And what would she say about it afterwards? Uh, she didn't care. She would just go about her business like it didn't even happen. And this is not your daughter this is way no. out of character yes she was never ever like that so where did this lead well just two months before her daughter selena's suicide she posted two very emotional and raw posts that described how really vicious the online world can be we're going to read those after the break 